Sounded like somebody shooting a 22 at us. Damn near jumped under the trailer to hide. Walked over to the bed of my truck and the entire tops of cans of Coca-Cola were blowing off. Walked over to the thermometer and it was 124 degrees. So I know that at 124 degrees, Coke will explode. Howdy, I'm Ty Mitchell. This is the International World Headquarters of the Lost Horse Saloon in Marfa, Texas. When I took over this saloon, it was a been a bar for 100 years, I guess. My goal was watching what was happening in town. I decided to completely remodel the place. Of course, it always have a cowboy element because I'm a cowboy. Cowboys can be intimidating. They're all leaned over there against the bar and they look rough as hell and they're tired and they're sweaty and they stink and they're drinking like hell because they've been out for a week, a month, whatever. But I wanted to make it a place where everybody felt welcome and nobody felt intimidated. And I think we got that accomplished. That was my, really my main goal, was to make sure everybody could come together. But if you got a group of people and you got one pretty girl, and I don't care if her hair is purple, if she's pretty, them cowboys are gonna talk. You know, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try and make y'all a Michelada. Some people haven't heard of it. It's kind of popular here in Texas and it's pretty popular along the border especially. First, I guess I'll tell you what a Michelada is. It's a, it's a beer mixed drink that we use with tomato base. Kind of like a Bloody Mary without quite as hard a kick. If you want one, we'll go through it. I'll show y'all what y'all get when you order a Michelada. Of course, first you gotta start with a glass, put a little lime on it. We are in a desert and it's hot. So that does kind of help with the hydration factor. I like to start with a little bit of salt on the rim. Put your glass of ice in there. We'll go ahead and get our beer. I like to use a Mexican beer. You can use pretty much any beer you want. You really don't want to use a dark beer. We're going to add a little bit of tomato juice. We're going to add enough to give it some color and then put some lime juice on top of it because citrus is damn sure good when you're living in a desert. The Michelada kind of came from, I couldn't tell you exactly where it was invented. It's, it's evolved from just putting tomato juice in beer, which has always been a favorite on the border in Mexico, in Texas and your other border states and where it's real hot. You know, it really does help to cool you off a little bit. A lot of guys will start with that when they come in from work. You know, they're needing a little energy. You know, you need some vitamins to pump you up before you can drink the rest of the night and dance. So you kind of get a sandwich with every drink. And then you add the toppings, which really give it the flavor. We're gonna give it some Worcestershire sauce. We're gonna give it a little bit of soy sauce. Tabasco to the customer, however hot they like it. I kind of like mine a little on the toasty side. And then we're gonna put some pepper on top. Get us a straw. We can mix it up just a little bit for the vegetarians. Garnish it with a lime. And I let each one of my bartenders mix drinks the way they want to. We have no set standard of the amount we pour in. It's Then my customers can pick which bartender they like the best and get their Michelada from who they like the best. I like mine the best, but. Ah, sandwich in a can. Well, okay, that's pretty much it on a Michelada. If you want to know how to make this one, you can click to the link below. If you want to go on a Michelada tour, Marfa would be a great place to do it, and we'll be glad to make the Micheladas all day long. Mm -hmm.